I'm Steve Carrington, and I'm the mayor for the city of Palmer, and I want to take you five days into the future. So what happens is the Palmer City Council has council meetings every second and fourth Tuesday of the month for a regular city council meeting. But about five days before that, the packet comes out. So on the city website, which is palmerak.org, there's a packet. Sometimes it's 50 pages, sometimes it's 200 pages, but I mean, it depends on what all's there. But that packet has all the background information that we have for the council for looking at what's happening. So I just want to review what's, what's coming up on our next meeting, which would be April 12th, which would be the second Tuesday in April. And those meetings, by the way, are at 6 o'clock. So. so in the consent agenda, there's information items. There's one for the Cedar Park subdivision agreement. And there's another one for a memorandum of agreement regarding traffic signal at Felton and Palmer Wasilla Highway. Then we have reports. Um, and the city manager has a report. The mayor has a report. And uh, the attorney and the clerk have a reports. And I believe under the city manager's report, we're going to have Chief Chad from the fire department kind of giving his annual report. That would that should be a very informative discussion for us. And that just gives us a chance to hear what's happening with the fire and rescue and what uh, gives us a chance to ask questions of him as well. And then after audience participation, which is where any anyone can come and take three minutes to speak and tell us of whatever it is they want us to hear about. There's public hearings, and at this time we have public hearings on some zoning issues, Senate Bill 111. Um, there's a fire volunteer fire assistance grant award and purchasing a new sewer truck, now, which is, you know, $450,000 item. But that's something that's budgeted, but because it's such a large item, we want to make sure that it's that the council's looking at it and the also, it's a public hearing, so the public has a chance to speak to us about it. Then we have new business. This week, this this next meeting, I should say, we have a lot of business. There's a sublease for one of the airport lots. And there's a couple council grants that we're considering. That's where the public comes in and asks for a grant to help them with an activity in Palmer. And then towards the end of the meeting, we have another audience participation and council comment. So for future meetings coming up, we've got another council meeting, April 26th. That would be the fourth Tuesday in April. And then this May 3rd is a special council meeting, which is where we're going to certify the April 19th special election. Uh, and that's another thing that's kind of happening right now is the election is April 19th. But for two weeks before the election, there's early voting at Palmer City Hall. So people can come in between 8 and 5 and show their ID and vote early and uh, in case they won't be around on the 19th or just want to get it out of the way. So we'll be certifying that. That's the recall, the recall election for three of the council members. And all that information is at palmerak.org where you can look at and see the sample ballots and uh, kind of see what's up before you get here. Well, this has been Steve Carrington trying to take you five days into the future.